So help me God. Proceed, Mr. Baldwin. Find some way to get her off the stand. Be quiet, be calm, and don't stare at her. Your Honor, permission to treat Miss Sakara as hostile. On what grounds? Isn't it obvious? She's a mob princess with no respect for the law or anything else. Keep it up, Juror 2. This is your last warning. <laughs> Permission denied, Mr. Baldwin. I won't allow you to undercut a witness before you've even asked a question. And I don't appreciate your blatant attempts to sway the jury. Proceed. What is your relationship with the defendant, John Sikora? Miss Sister. Older or younger? Older. Oh, you look younger. Could you describe your relationship with your brother? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance? Overruled. Answer the question. We're close. Did you know the victim, Logan Hayes? Not very well. Well, in what context did you know him at all? Well, he was an attendant for my father. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What was his, his duties for your father? Oh, pushing his wheelchair, running errands, getting my father to the toilet, that type of thing. Was there a tension between Logan and John? Objection, Your Honor. Cause for speculation. Be specific, Mr. Baldwin. Did you notice any tension between Logan Same and objection, John? Same objection, Your Honor. I guess I wasn't around them enough to really... It's, it's yes or no. Your Honor, he's badgering his own witness. Allow Ms. Zakara to answer the question, then move on. I never saw any tension, no. Did you notice that... Logan and John were in love with the same girl, Lulu Spencer. Where were you on the night of the murder? I was in Port Charles. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was in and out of my apartment all afternoon, all evening. Your apartment, the one that you share with the defendant, John Sakara. That's correct. Where was he? on the night of the murder. Objection, Your Honor. The witness is not responsible for her brother's whereabouts. Be more specific, Mr. Baldwin. Did you see your brother, John Sakar, the night of the murder? Yes. Was that before or after he murdered Logan Hayes? Your Honor! No more questions. Mr. Lansing, your witness. I have no questions at this time, Your Honor, but I reserve the right to recall this witness. Fair enough. Ms. Akari, you may step down now. Next witness, please. The prosecution calls Nadine Crowell. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Where do you work? I'm a floor nurse at General Hospital. Is that your only job? Uh, no, I also work at the Emily Quarter Main Free Clinic on Van Ness. Where were you the night of the murder? That sort of sounds like you think I did it. Just answer the question, Ms. Crowell. Oh, um, I was at the clinic. Were you alone? No, Nicholas was there, Nicholas Cassadine. He uh, owns the clinic, he hired me. Objection, Your Honor. He's deliberately allowing the witness to go off topic. Move it along, Mr. Baldwin. Did you find Logan Hayes' body that night? Yes, what I did. did. Where did you find it? Uh, right outside the door of the clinic. Did you see or hear anything when Logan's body was dumped on the steps of the clinic? Uh, I heard a car drive off. Did you see the car? It was dark. Did you see who was driving the car? If I didn't see the car, how could I have seen who was driving the car? Well, didn't you see that guy throw Logan's body from the car? I already told you. I saw a car pull away, but I did not see the driver. Okay, well, let's just start from the beginning. Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative. Tone it down, Mr. Baldwin. Tell the court what happened that night. Sure. I was working late at the clinic, checking through meds. Nicholas was working in the back. Um, I heard a thud, 
Sounded sort of like someone had fallen up against the door. I called out for Nicholas, but before he um, came to meet me, I opened the door and found the body. You mentioned Nicholas Cassadine. He owns the clinic, right? Objection relevance. Well, the witness brought it up. I don't see why I can't pursue it. Objection overruled. Nicholas Cassadine is Lulu Spencer's half-brother, right? Objection relevance. Get where you're going, Mr. Baldwin. Well, you like Nicholas, don't you? Your Honor! You know better, Mr. Baldwin. Well, I mean, he would really be impressed if you were to help Lulu's boyfriend with your testimony. He might like you back, huh? Objection, Your Honor! Pardon my French, Mr. Baldwin, but that's a pile of horse pucky. Do you have a personal relationship with Nicholas Cassadine? We all know what that means, Mr. Baldwin, and I don't appreciate the implication one little bit. Yes or no? You want this whole courtroom to think that I am in love with Nicholas Cassadine, and even if I am, which I'm probably not, it would never influence my testimony. Objection! You can't object to your own witness. That's enough, Miss Crow. I'm not finished. I'm finished with you, you crackpot. Ugh. Nicholas is worried sick about his little sister. She's about to lose her mind because that man is about to railroad her boyfriend into a lethal injection. That's enough, Miss Crow. No, Your Honor, this whole trial is all wrong. Scott Baldwin hates the Spencers. He's just out for revenge because Lulu's mother dumped him like a million years ago. I talk about conflict of interest. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but he shouldn't even be allowed in this courtroom. That is quite enough. 